Hello, this unit we are learning about parts of the house and furniture and today we are going to introduce a new grammar structure. There is and there are. We use there is to say that one thing exists or that I can see one thing. And we use there are to say that two or more things exist or that I can see two or more things. Let's see some examples. Here we have a picture of a living room. So, is there a lamp in the living room? Can you see a lamp? We can say there is a lamp in the living room. Can you see a sofa in the living room? Is there a sofa in the living room? There is a sofa in the living room. Can you see the cushions? Let's count them out. One, two, three, four. How many cushions are there? There are four cushions on the sofa. And let's see the pictures. Is there one picture or more than one? More than one, very good. One, two, and three pictures. So. We say, there are three pictures in the living room. We can say, there is a chimney in the house. Or, there are three windows in the house. One, two, and three. There are three windows in the house. We use there isn't and there aren't to talk about things that we can't see or to say, to talk about things that doesn't exist. Let's see some examples. Look at this living room. Can you see a plant in the living room? Is there a plant in the living room? No, there isn't. So we say, there isn't a plant in the living room. And can you see a table? No, there isn't a table in the living room. Let's talk about this garden. Can you see any trees? Are there any trees? There aren't any trees in the garden. And what about animals? Are there any animals? No, there aren't. There aren't any animals in the garden. Thank you for watching.